The centerpiece of the CIA's Kulturkampf, or cultural struggle, books in which it was totally or partial freedom, and scores of magazines, congresses and concerts, art exhibitions and seminars. Igor Stravinsky, Ignazio Silone, Roberto Rossellini, Willie Brandt, James Bernard Roy Dudley Hook, A.J. Ayer, Herbert Reed, Malcolm Muggins, Mary McCarthy, whilst Bender Dan appeared content to broadcast the denial Norman he had received from Flash John Steinbeck, others were less happy, yes, Robert Penn Warren, it, the list is endless, I could go, sorry, it is endless, I've just realised it goes on and on. It even features Jackson Pollock, though he was probably drunk when he joined. Honorary presidents were Bertrand Russell, Benedetto Croce, John Dewey, Carl Jaspers, Salvador de Madariaga, the Congress was an Jacques Maritain, Reinhold and intellectuals and artists. Where the tax returns of philanthropic foundations revealed some bizarre discrepancies. There was the Hoblitzel Foundation, whose primary purpose was listed in the Directory of American Foundations as providing support to organizations within Texas, primarily in Dallas, with emphasis on aid for the handicapped. And what possible interest could the Miami District Fund have in the German magazine Der Monat, also published by the Congress? For hiding behind frontmen like Julius Fleischmann and dummy foundations like the Farfield, the CIA had, from its inception in 1947, alighted upon culture as one of the central theatres of the Cold War. Rampart was closing in on the CIA's crown jewel. I think its backlist runs to over a thousand publications. It was the secret miceness. The crypto patron behind thousands of times committed to demonstrating the fallibility of the Soviet mythos and the superiority of Western democracy as a framework for cultural and philosophical Its inquiry. membership read like a who's who of the eminence crise of the period. Julian Huxley, Mircea Liade, André Malraux, Guido Piovene, Herbert Reed, Thornton Wilder, J.P. Narayan, Hugh Moroka, James T. Farrell, Raymond Barron. By early 1966, the California-based Rampart magazine had already sent out journalists to truffle around the undergrowth of the Internal Revenue Service and the uninhibited flow of ideas. Did this not risk producing, instead of freedom, a kind of ur-freedom, where people think they're acting freely, when in fact they are bound to forces over which they have no control? The CIA's engagement in cultural warfare raises other troubling questions. Did financial aid distort the process by which intellectuals and their ideas were advanced? Were people selected for their positions, rather than on the basis of intellectual merit? And what did Arthur Kersler mean when he lampooned the international academic cool girl circuit, intellectual conferences and symposia? And what did Arthur Kersler mean when he lampooned the international academic cool girl circuit of intellectual conferences and symposia? And what did Arthur Kersler mean when he lampooned the international academic cool girl circuit? intellectual conferences and symposia. How many of those writers and thinkers who acquired an international audience for their ideas were really second raters, ephemeral publicists, whose works were doomed to the basements of second-hand bookstores? Were reputations secured or enhanced by membership of the CIA's cultural consortium? How many others drank too heavily at the trial? Their creative energy sapped by the weight of their expenses. What most irritated us, wrote Jason Epstein some years ago, was that the government seemed to be running an underground gravy train whose first-class compartments were not always occupied by first-class passengers. And for less than individual talent and achievement, and where d doubts about established orthodoxies were taken to be the beginning of all inquiry. And for less than individual talent and achievement, and where d doubts about established orthodoxies were taken to be the beginning of all inquiry. Where ideology was pursued to come. It had at last become clear how bad a bargain the intellectuals had but made. It could never have been in the interest of art or literature, or serious speculation of any kind, or even of humanity itself, for them to serve the will of any nation. For them to serve the will of any nation. For them to serve the will of any it nation. It will perhaps be another 50 years before we discover whether the influence still exerts on the, the lobby CIA, CIA still exerts at Langley over the cultural affairs of is this, great this and indeed other nations. The truth shall make you free time of day, for less than individual talent and achievement, and where doubts about established orthodoxies were taken to be the beginning of all inquiry. <laughs> but it could never have been in the interest of art or literature, or serious speculation of any kind, or even of humanity itself. To what extent? Um, the degree of research and the degree 